Connecting is a weekly broadcast about about many different ways to get out of your head and back into your heart. Because when we are back in our heart space, life is easeful. There is flow. In fact, you can live a life that is heartful. So I'm Damini Celebrate, and it is my passion to help you live as your brightest best self. And I do that through, through sharing many, many different tools for your heart. Most importantly, um, embody creativity, shamanism, and energy medicine, because they are how we connect in to our soul self. Um, today is a little bit different. Today we are going to do a creative experience. Um, and so I recommend that you grab some pencils or pens, markers, crowns, eyeliner, whatever you have floating around. Yes, somebody used eyeliner once and lipstick. Um, go ahead and grab those things, some paper or a paper bag, something to write on. If you don't have any of those things, if your phone has a notes app, you can actually draw right into that. So I'll give you a minute, a minute to gather up those goodies. And I'm going to give myself the opportunity just to settle in. So first, let's begin by talking a little bit about what summer solstice is. If you listen to the podcast from last week, um, I talked a bit about the element of fire, which in a five element uh, perspective is all about the heart. It's all about how do you move through life with the heart and how your heart holds the essence of who you are. Not the kind of this is who I am in this world, but the essence of love of who you are out in the world. Because the identity of job, of family, of societal position means nothing, really, if you're not resonating from your heart. The energy of fire is not only about joy, but it's also about the fullest expression of who you are. So if you go ahead and if you think about um, the energy of the seed in winter and how that seed begins to push through the ground, then that seed begins to flower and bloom. And summer solstice is the fullest bloom, regardless of what hemisphere you're in. I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, so right now it's summer solstice. Those of you down south are in winter solstice, so it's a whole different energetic experience for you. But summer solstice right now, it's about coming in to heart space of yourself, but also gathering in with your peeps. For some of us, that's really important. For some of us, it's not that important. So what's most important in this conversation is how do you hold the space of you in your heart and the expression of who you are, this full bloom, as we navigate the energy of fire, in particular summer solstice. So shifting over to kind of a shamanic conversation, there are there is summer solstice and winter solstice, and they are the opposite ends of each other. And summer solstice is the height of the sun, longest days, Winter solstice is the shortest days, longest nights. So there are polar opposites. So some people think about that as 12 o'clock and six o'clock on the analog clock. And then we have equinoxes, which are the in-between spaces, spaces of balance. We have autumnal equinox and then spring equinox. And so what's so beautiful about this, it's like we are right here. We are in the full bloom, radiating ourselves to the sun and the sun to us. So it's a beautiful time to honor the movement of the wheel of life, to come into relationship with who you are, to kind of look around and just notice how the world around you right now is responding to this full on apex of light. And yes, light can be talking about the sun, but it can also be a full metaphorical experience. The light, the divinity, 
the light inside you, responding to the light around you. And if you, you could probably hear it, there are so many birds where I live and they are just been singing and singing and singing. They are singing the fullest expression of themselves. So shifting that a little bit into why is it important to create a symbol or a talisman, which is what we're going to do today, to support you, to kind of remind you or embody the energy of the season to help support you as we go through the season of summer. So in shamanism, shamanic art is energy. It's not just a representation of energy. It actually holds a container of the gift, of the gift of your drawing, of the insignia of what your intention is. It holds the vibration the support that you need to dream yourself into blooming. The shamanic piece of art can be a line. It can be a scribble. You're drawing vibration, not necessarily something that represents and looks like something else. And I think that's super important, right? Don't be freaking out going, I, don't, I can't draw. Everybody can pick up a pencil and draw energy. And that's all that matters, right? So what we're going to do is we create this insignia or talisman or a seal, if you will, if we go shift over to Chinese medicine a little, the seal identity chop of who you are right now, of the energy that you need right now. Um, that really can just be a circle or something more elaborate. And to support us in the dreaming of our full bloom, I've actually gone ahead and picked it's a mugwort, and mugwort is a really beautiful plant here in the northern hemisphere to help with dreaming, to help you kind of connect in to that higher aspect of yourself. In acupuncture, we use moxa, not necessarily in this form, but condensed, and we put it on a point to warm the point, to bring spirit into the point. So you can see how really important this plant is. And, you know, it's just a real honoring um, to have her be part of today's experience. And so those of you who are listening, I'm going to encourage you to pop over my blog, which is DominiCelebrity.com slash blog, um, to check out the video of what this plant looks like, um, because I record not only an audio version of this Connect In, but uh, a video version of it as well. So coming into community, that's what we're doing right now. Whether we are live together in this kind of audio video space or you are listening to this at a different time, we are here together energetically. And that's super important to know that you are in community now. And why community is so important is because sometimes if something, if you bump into something, uh, or if your inner critic kicks in, uh, sometimes you walk away. You know, I always joke around, I get a cup of tea and I get a bag of corn chips and I walk away when I bump into something. But when you are part of a community, even energetically as we are right now, there is support. Support you to explore, to touch into um, yourself, your heart, and this energy that we call summer in this case. So let's take a moment and get out of our head since I've been talking a lot already. Let's get out of our head and into our body because it is our body. When we're in our body is how we connect to our heart's truth and our soul's truth. And that's where this image, this seal, this talisman is going to come out of. So if you have your papers and markers and crayons, keep that right next to you. And then go ahead and get comfortable. Feel the weight of you on the earth. Allow your eyes to soften. When your eyes are soft, you are dropping automatically into a heart space. Bring your awareness to your breath. Bring your breath down into your chest. Bring your breath down into your belly.
Bring your breath all the way down your legs, down to your feet. And again, breath to belly to feet. Wiggle your toes and our energy goes where our intention goes. So our intention is to get out of our head and into our body. We do that with breath, belly, feet. Take a couple minutes and keep breathing. Breath to belly to feet. Just notice how you change when you come back into yourself. Creating muscle memory is important. It helps you understand when you're in your head versus in your body. So how do you feel? Just notice how you feel when you're all the way down in your body, in your belly, in your feet. And any of those sounds that are, all are, are, that are around you, let them just take you deeper and deeper into your experience. Breath, belly, feet. Now go ahead and place your hands on your heart. Take a nice, long, deep breath. Feel the rising and falling of your chest. Keep breathing. Feel the rising and falling. I feel the beating of your heart. And now slip your awareness a little bit underneath the beating of your heart and connect into the light of your heart. You may feel that, you may actually see that, it doesn't matter. Just connect with your personal light, the radiance of who you are. If you start overthinking it, wiggle your toes. Breath to belly, to feet, to heart. And imagine yourself being surrounded by your light being surrounded by the height, the full potentiality, the fullest expression of your light that is radiating from your heart out. And in this light, ask for your higher self, the highest expression of who you are, the one that doesn't have all the BS of being in body, if you will. Ask that highest expression of who you are to come and stand right in front of you in this light. And go ahead and greet your higher self and let your higher self know that right here in this moment, you would like to receive a gift. And that gift is going to be a symbol a symbol that represents your light, that re represents your fullest expression of yourself right now 
in this time called summer solstice. Take the very first thing that comes. You may receive it in your hand. You may be seeing this image. You may be seeing the symbol. I invite you to allow that symbol to kind of come into your body, like own this light, this vibration. And while you are still in this in-between space of breath, belly, feet, of being connected to your light in presence of your light and your higher self allow your eyes to be soft and go ahead and take a minute and draw that symbol take it from the internal aspect of your inner landscape and put it out onto some paper draw that symbol don't overthink it in fact, you can think about that you are drawing the vibration of the symbol if you want. Dreaming the light of who you are out into the world by simply drawing this symbol. And then when that symbol is complete, I'm going to invite you to soften your eyes even more. Allow your heart to open, soften a little bit more. And just take in that symbol. Take in that image that is waking up something inside you, reminding you of your beauty, of your light. And just notice how the act of drawing out the symbol and being present with it now makes you feel. Beautiful. Now you can keep your eyes closed, you can keep looking at your talisman, um, but let me share with you a few ways that it's, it's quite brilliant to work with this symbol. So one is the loving reminder that this symbol is truly holding the energy of your light, of you at the apex of your brightest, best self. So you could put this image somewhere that you'll see it all the time. And every time you see it, you are engaging your body, mind, spirit, muscle memory to vibrate to that light. It's like that little loving reminder. Sometimes we put things around our wrists to remind us of things. This image is a reminder of, of the light of who you are. Okay. So you can put this image somewhere special where you can see it all the time. I actually like to take a photo of it on my phone and make it my uh, screensaver. So every time I pick up my phone, there it is, jing, 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 kind of wakes up the body, the mind, the spirit, my soul, and says, yes, yes, this is who I am expanding into as we go through summer. This is what is allowing my heart to resonate my light. Right. So I would so love if you want to share what your symbols are, 
you can go ahead and put those in the comments. You can email me at Damini at Damini um, Share it. Would love to see, experience, be in presence with your light. Yeah. If you really like the idea of doing this kind of work, of mixing in this deep soul work with energy medicine and shamanism and the seasons and be in community, today is the last day to join with the Creative Alchemy community as the founder membership discount. Tomorrow that changes, but for right now, the Creative Alchemy community is a monthly group with um, a lot of lovely touch points throughout the month. Uh, Creative Alchemy is a community of women that come together to support each other, to learn about themselves, to be their brightest, best selves, to have fun, to be creative, to do some deep soul work. Again, you can check that out at DeminiCelebrity.com. Founders discount ends. And tomorrow the price goes up a little bit more. So if you've been thinking about it, this is your time. Okay. So until next week, I send you so much love. Be present with your talisman. Be present with the light. Go out there and skip through the meadows if you want, uh, or swim with dolphins, or sit quietly with yourself and read a book. However you celebrate the energy of summer, this, my loves, is your time. So until next week, mwah.